I'm Dan Weskes, uh, the chair of the Professional Meat Cutting and Merchandising Program here at NEAT. Um, this is located in the School of Hospitality and Culinary Arts. Today what we're going to talk about is dry aging of meats. So I have here before me a lip-on prime rib that is not aged. We, uh, as you can tell, it's fresh. Uh, the quality is of uh, AAA. It's excellent quality, good eating quality, but we want a superior eating quality product and to do that we have to dry age it. So what we're going to do to start the aging process is we get a, a drip pan with a grate. Okay, make sure that it's all clean and then we just place the product on top of the grate so that any of the juices, which will be few, that drop in will drop away from the meat and then as the air circulates around the meat in the fridge it'll start to dry out it'll get a, a very dark brown and then black color um, locking in all the juices and uh, letting the enzyme the natural enzymes go to work so here we are with the same product 40 days later we tagged it and we kept it for 40 days in the fridge in isolation um, and then had the air circulate around it and you can see how it's formed a very dark crust on the outside for natural dry aging and what the enzymes have been doing on the inside is tenderizing that meat while this crust preserved most of the meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this dry aged crust off that's formed around the prime rib, okay? So like I said, it formed a nice crust on the outside. It was in isolation for the reason of the, we didn't want to introduce any uh, other bacteria or unwanted bacteria, but the crust keeps unwanted bacteria from penetrating into the meats. Okay, there's only good stuff here, it's dry aging, etc. But there is, the importance is that it has to be in a fridge in isolation. So you can't do this in your home fridge. You gotta have a separate fridge for this, just for aging. Otherwise, you're gonna introduce different floras, different bacteria from all your other groceries. Uh, so now that we have it all trimmed off, we have all the dark age off, all the dried product, you can slice it into steaks or roast it as a roast. We're going to slice this one just into steaks about inch, inch and a half thick each. You'll find that with this uh, aged meat, the meat seems to be uh, more dense as the uh, natural enzymes in the meat break down all the connective tissue that are holding the fibers of meat together, giving you a better eating experience, better eating quality. So now what you have before you is one that's 40 days aged and one that it's just fresh. This one here is only about 14 days aged. You see the difference in the size, see the difference in the color, the density of the meat, okay? This one here you could probably break apart with your fork after it comes off the barbecue. This one you'd still need a knife. <laughs>